impacts of climate are very important in terms of rainforest stability. If one believes the projections issued by IPCC and other independent scientific groups, what we are seeing is that the global concentration of greenhouse gases induces an increase in the global temperature of the planet and consequently an increase in the topsoil temperature and a decrease in the wetness of the soil. All are related to this thing that we call global warming. All those impacts have a negative effect on the resilience of forests. If you increase the temperature of the soil and at the same time reduce its moisture, the, in theory, the capacity of a forest to maintain a certain amount of biomass is affected. But in addition to that, there are a number of projections that indicate that the global precipitation patterns may change. So some studies, including the one sponsored by the bank, have made an attempt at looking at how those rainforest patterns are affected. And the result of our study, as well as other independent studies, is that in principle we are going to see a concentration on the rainfall cycle. What does it mean? Basically it means that it, when it rains, when it rains, it pours. And when it doesn't rain, it's very dry. So the water cycle accelerates downpours and longer drying periods. This is the overall pattern that we see projected over South America. In the Amazon, it has a very important effect because the Amazon has a dry period and a wet period. And what we were seeing is that during the dry period, climate change may result in the pernicious effect of eliminating any rains during the dry period and concentrating the rainfall during the wet period. So that is against the stability of the rainforest. You need a certain amount of water, of moisture during the dry period, to carry over that biomass until water comes again.